Welcome back to KJ Reacts. Before we get into the video, subscribe to the channel. That's it. That's all I want you to do. Now look, we have the GOAT. GOAT Dragon. GD. Y'all know who that is. You feel me? But he collabed with, guess who? In the past, Missy Elliott. Legendary. Also, he collabed with Flo Rider. Flo Rider. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of blindside. I wouldn't expect this collab. But there's a backstory to it. Obviously, people think this song Heartbreaker was a song that was taken from Flo Rida. And he said, you know what? <laughs> Challenge accepted. Flo Rida, get on stage with me and show people that it's not. Legendary moment. Our legends do legendary things. And we know GD to be that person. So let's enjoy this and get into it. Flo Rida. YG family. G Dragon, holla at him. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are we saying this is not the same song? You spin my hair right round, right round when it. We saying this is different? Or, or are we saying he didn't steal it, but he was able to get a sample, like sample it? And rap on it from Flo Rider. So people think he stole it, but but Flo Rider actually allowed him to sample it. Is that what we're saying? Because if we saying he didn't take literally the beat and just rap on it, look, <laughs> I'm no fool. You feel me? I was not born yesterday at all, actually. I was born 26 years ago. But besides that, you feel me? Like, it sounds the same. So comment below like what allegations are we talking about what what was the story around this you feel me i need to know more so i'm not giving misinformation it's still harder it's harder than the original <laughs> i Check out low, 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 Them apple bottom jeans with the... I'm, I... Hey. It's the man. Here he is. Hey, I know everybody ain't perfect, baby. What did I do to deserve this? Hey. No way, you're making me nervous. I can't afford to be clowning your circus. Like, why did I open the curtains? Gave you my heart when I should have been certain. Knew I was allergic. I need a surgeon. Turned it in on a good person. Honestly. Flo Rider is not an artist I really listen to. He has some hits. That I'm not going to lie. When I was younger, I listened to him. I, I did. By default, like, they were just playing everywhere. But he's not an artist that I don't listen to at all. And I would say I'm surprised the way he came on this song because he's snapping right now. He's actually doing this song justice. You feel me? Like, G GD and Flo Rida right now are neck to neck on the bars and the delivery of it. You feel me? But also, like, is it GD song? Is it Flo Rida song? I'm not sure whose song it is. <laughs> That's a joke. But I like it. And then they're just talking about Heartbreak, obviously, title Heartbreaker. Um, I love that he said about the girl, you know, leaving. And just saying, I wish, like, pretty much I wish you the best, but good luck. Good luck out there. Like, I know there's a lot of people in relationships, and, and I feel like I'm one of those people that when people leave from a relationship, not because of something you did, but because of whatever they got going on, you realize, like, you just got to let it go. You can't hold on too long because the more you hold on and try to keep them there, the more you hurt yourself because they're already... No, mine is numb. They on to the next person. They're not even thinking about what's going on. But you have to let that go. And as you let that go, just wish them the best. Because, like, you understand you're a really good person and it's hard to find good people out there. So if they're willing to find, try to go find somebody else, or if they're on that personal journey to do so, then let them go. Good luck. This wasn't part of the plan. Leaving each other, I don't yeah. understand. More than your love or your permanent man. man. Won't be another that do what I can. can. Right on the double, I gave you my can. hand. Go through the trouble. He 
क्या होता है I do not condone what he said, but let's check it out real quick. I'll still be there. That's, you know, the hook. On the phone. In the mailbox in front of your house is crazy. It's great. If I see an ex, a girl I used to talk to in front of my house, in front of my mailbox, catch me outside. <laughs> catch me outside. Now, look. That is crazy. I do not want you. I, that, that's why Vic, Vince Staples. I want you guys to go on Instagram and find Vince Staples. He said a statement recently. Uh, somebody asked him the question, do your friends come over and kick it and stuff? And he's like, why? He's like, what about bringing girls back home? He's like, why would I do that? Because when things don't work out, now they got your address. And your address ain't something that just changed frequently. You feel me? And if things don't work out, they're going to be at your crib. Type stuff. And I, I, that changed my perspective a little bit. I'm like, you right. Now, the friends coming over, that's different, but but women and, uh, and people like that coming over, it's like, okay, you're right. You feel me? You're right, because you're going to have people like GD in front of your mailbox like this. You got mail today? <laughs> you got mail today? Hey, <laughs> Creeping and stuff. This one's I'm surprised about this one. Auto tune. It's a little sounds good. That's hard to catch. Legendary moments, and this is one of them. We saw the one with Missy Elliott. If you haven't, go check that uh, reaction out on my channel and subscribe. But we have another one with Flo Rider. Please, now I'm excited. Now I need you guys to comment below more legendary collaborations. It could be with GD, but it also can be other artists that you think, okay, this collab right here is one of the best collabs ever. I'm checking out nothing but best collabs right now. I appreciate y'all in advance. I love y'all.